I'm here at the Surefire booth, joined by Aaron. We're gonna go over some of the new products you guys got here, so. Yeah, so it starts you off with a 2211 uh, light we introduced last year. Variation we have on this one is the watch with the light. Uh, this is actually supposed to be uh, designed to be used with a primary light as well, like a primary weapon light. Yeah. Uh, this is more of a backup light. Uh, the idea behind it in the application is to wear it on your support hand with, when pairing with a handgun. Gotcha. It's going to give you a really broad beam pattern, uh, so it helps and accommodates your peripheral vision. This is actually going to ship with a Luminox uh, watch. Yeah, that's what I was looking at there. So, What's the price point on this? Probably looking about the $800 range for this Yeah, one. I figured so, as much with the Luminox. Yeah, so uh, probably looking about the next three months to get this one out. Gotcha, gotcha. So, what else you guys got out this year? Uh, you're going to see a designation on a few of our lights called Ultras. Uh -huh. um, and basically what that's going to signify is, is a couple of things. One is the LED we're using in it and also the output level we're getting on these lights. So um, this is actually going to be an upgraded light to the current Defender that we have out. Uh, so the output level is going to go from 200 up to 500 lumens. Oh wow. Uh, so you do have a little bit bigger bezel diameter, so yeah. it's going from 1 inch to 1.1. So, um, but so you guys are incorporating uh, rechargeable batteries in these in, in some of these systems too, correct? Correct. And we'll talk about that. Uh, there's a new rechargeable light that we have coming out, um, based on this end here. Um, the idea behind this one is that more of a entry level law enforcement light. Um, and as far as Surefire is concerned, is really the no frills high performance light from yeah. Surefire. Um, it does have an 18650 battery in it, um, and it is based off the Fury technology that we have, so it uses an XM LED and also the bigger uh, diameter reflector. How many, how many lumens is that? The 700 lumens on high, and then 15 lumens on low. Nice. So, uh, operates like the backup, you're familiar with that. Yeah. First press, max output, release, and then you get the low output level. Gotcha. So, a uh, couple of the other things are these really high performance uh, handheld lights that we have at the end over here. Yeah, uh, check it so out. These are all going to be uh, rechargeable variations. The one exception to it is this one. This is both a rechargeable lithium ion and it runs on 12 1, 2, 3, 8 batteries. Okay. So it does take a whole 12 pack of batteries to get this thing yeah. powered up. But if that's the way you need to run it, then there's that option. For and what's, you. what's the output on these? So this one. Um, now the smaller of all these ones is at 2,000 lumens. Wow, okay. So this is the high-end flashlight, so it's going to give you every bell and whistle that we can include in a flashlight. Yeah. Uh, you have a selector ring up here, so whatever output designation you want, down to about 10 lumens, uh, all the way up to 2,000 you have, in, including stroke. And then these three buttons here control the outputs as well, so you can have a constant on, momentary for whatever you're selected here. And then the last switch is going to override everything and always give you max output level. Okay. So it does include a fuel gauge, and we ship it with a wall charger, cigarette lighter adapter. Nice. Um, and this one actually comes with a shoulder sling, so if you need to carry it long distance, <laughs> you won't wear out your arm. So this one looks impressive until you get to this one. Yeah. So this is called the Annihilator. Uh, we're actually working with one of our vendors, uh, suppliers, to develop a proprietary LED package. Really? Um, so. so we have, what we um, had them designed for us was an eight die LED package. Uh -huh. uh, on the outside is basically six green LEDs, and in the middle we have two white LEDs. So what that ended up get, gets you is you get about a thousand lumens with just the white only, mm -hmm. and then 5,000 lumens oh, wow. max output with this one. So, and the reason why it's green, which is a question we, you know, we're getting quite a bit at the show, is yeah. uh, in order to get that output level, that's the technology we needed to implement for that. Really? Yeah, so that green wavelength actually is producing more lumens. Gotcha. There's not a white LED that's going to get you that output range. Really? Yeah. What's, so. what's the uh, MSRP on it? For these three lights, we haven't released them yet, so, okay. but um, you're looking at probably a couple thousand dollars yeah. in this range. This one's uh, going to be released March time frame, and it's thirteen fifty. Gotcha. And so, ETA on these? This one, Maybe fall? End, this one, end of year. Okay. Um, we're just now starting to get delivery, just prototype LED packages from our supplier. Gotcha. Um, and production is a few months after that. So gotcha. Still quite a bit of work to do on that one, but uh, just in true surefire fashion, yeah. Uh, we're always going to take the latest and greatest, put it in an illumination tool. Sure. Uh, and we like to show these things off. Uh, what we have here, two uh, 
rechargeable HID lights. Uh, the bigger one here is the ARC-3, uh, which has uh, 4,500 lumens of output on max. And then uh, the bigger story is the Candela, which is 1.2 million Candela. Uh, and then here is a little bit smaller, uh, ARC-2. Uh, eight, uh, this is 4,000 lumens and then 800,000 Candela. So really yeah, good as far yeah. as performance and beam distance for these. Absolutely. Um, one of the things with HIDs is it does take a little while for it to reach full output level. Yeah. But once it gets there, it's just a wall of light coming at you. Yeah. So it's, um, and you can see the beam intensity in the middle there. Yeah. So it gives you quite a bit of beam distance. Yeah, just off of the, just yeah. off of the carpet, it's pretty yeah. intense. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And these lights are designed um, for like search and rescue applications, yeah. border patrol, maritime applications. That's kind of where we see the fit for these lights. Um, sure. But of course, you know, any consumer that would like to buy these lights. Yeah. You know, all right, that's it for the Surefire booth. Thanks, Aaron, for all your help out yep. here, and stay tuned for more episodes here at SHOT Show 2013.